Well, I think when you listen to Martha and Lido's comments that Lauren obtained, what you see is this person who seems so devoted to revenge and getting back at her enemies. It's it's sort of on brand in a Trumpian sort of way, but it's really unfitting for the wife of a Supreme Court justice, or quite frankly, for a Supreme Court, just, court justice himself. It you know I've not forgotten Sam Alito's uh, responses to Obama's State of the Union address, but that's not all. Sam Alito during his confirmation hearings before the Senate Judiciary Committee when he was up for the Supreme Court nomination pledged that he was not going to impose his personal views from the bench, that that was inappropriate. And yet now that there are the, these Trump appointees have joined uh, Alito and Roberts and Thomas on the bench, they are unlimited in their determination to impose their personal views. And so you have this really illib illiberal response by uh, Mrs. Alito, but it reflects um, both on both she and her husband because he's taken this very illiberal view, this notion that people can impose their religious beliefs on others um, and, and deny them their equal rights, that they, that they have a right to do so. When in fact, I think most Americans recognize that freedom doesn't mean imposing your religious beliefs on others. It means respecting others to make their own choices for their own lives. And that also means honoring the fundamental promise of equality in our constitution. And when I think of freedom, I can think of few freedoms more intimate, more personal than the right to marry the person you love. That doesn't mean a church has to marry you, but in civil society, under civil law, a marriage for people, two adults who love each other, um, should be permitted, is currently permitted by law. But I believe that Alito and Thomas and some of the other justices on that court are eager to take away those rights. And so we are at the brink um, of, of a lot of destruction, not just from the Dobbs decision, but more. And I think the Supreme Court is on the ballot this November, yeah. and it has to be because this court is not done unwriting our rights, basically reversing our rights, limiting our freedoms, and putting its thumb on the scale of justice in the in favor of Donald Trump and this right wing agenda. It, it's so right to put it that way, and and I mean I think to go even further that they're they're interested in unwinding and unraveling families. Right. Marriage equality is the law of yeah. the land and it has been. Yeah. And those families have children and those families are pillars of their communities. And, and, and the idea that this is where we are is truly extraordinary. Lisa Graves and Christy Greenberg, it's a story we'll stay on with both of your help. Christy, thank you for coming back for day two of the Alito tapes. We're grateful to you.